so, uh, it's been a while. I've uh, been a little bit busy, and in the meantime, things have changed a little. Uh, for example, I am now human, so that's cool. Uh, I managed to take the suit off, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, here I am. Look, it's me. In pixel form. This is kind of what I look like in real life. Uh, less beard, because... Uh, ooh, got a bit of a rash on my chin. I need to fix that. But, uh, yeah, a bit, a bit less beard than in real life. But if I had included the beard, I would be all hair. So, pick and choose. But I'm beautiful, aren't I? I look lovely. This is an actual outfit I have in real life. My, my favourite outfit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's uh, hi. I'm CC. Um, welcome to the SMP. So this is Stockholm. It's been a while. Uh, you probably don't even recognise. It's been so long, uh, and there's a good reason for that. And that's because I have been working on the Hermitcraft TCG. Yeah, uh, realised I've never actually talked about this on the my channel before, but I'm an artist, and I was hired to work on the TCG. I made uh, 33 cards in total, I think, in the end. Uh, I think that's how many I did. And, uh, uh, oh, look, the, the scrolling. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very excited for that. Oh. So, 1 by 20. There's been loads of, no loads of new stuff added, and I love all of it. It's probably my favourite Minecraft update they've done since, um, probably the Aquatic update, like, I like the Never Update and stuff, but I wouldn't really call it my favourite, but this is like really right up my alley, like they added so many things that I've been asking for for years, like bamboo planks and cherry blossom trees, they're the things that I'm the most excited for. I've, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, cherry blossoms in real life, so it's my most requested suggestion, it's, oh, that's, uh, that looks painful. So, uh, I need to find one, I need to find some cherry blossom stuff, and also sniffers. I voted for the sniffer to get into the game, and I'm honestly shocked it won, especially by how much it won. Uh, but yes, so, uh, but to get everything, I need to go do some exploring. A lot, a lot, a lot of exploring. And uh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. So <laughs> let's uh, figure out how to turn this camera off. I, uh, how do I get back out of it? All right, I think I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> With the elytra, uh, and if it breaks, uh, actually, do I have a spare one? I feel like I would have a spare one. I'm me, I usually have. Ev yep, okay. I'm gonna put a few elytra into my ender chest just back. Hello, but just for backup. Uh, and I have a bunch of rockets in my ender chest, so don't worry about that. So, off we go. I. Ooh, ooh. Off we go. So we've reset a bunch of the chunks, but I don't know how aggressive Kieran was with it. Like, yeah, there's no, uh... Ah! There's no, uh, things there. There's a bunch of things I am looking for, specifically. There is trail ruins. There's, uh, anything that would contain suspicious sand, like desert temples, or the, uh, the, 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 uh, the ocean ruins I think they can have it and I just realized I should probably have made myself a brush I'll do that when I land or once I actually find somewhere I can use I need to kill a chicken I need to find a chicken uh, chicken yeah right I've got some copper I have the feather and I have some sticks so I can make some brushes there we go so I can brush any block I want now, but nothing will happen unless I find a, um, a suspicious block. But I do see a shipwreck. Ow. Ooh, hoo -hoo, got my first item, got the smithing template. Lovely. Got some suspicious stew and stuff too, but I don't care about that. But yeah, smithing template, so I can get an armor trim now, which is going to be awesome. Uh, Coast is probably the easiest one to get. Like I think Kieran's already got like loads, but uh, no, that's a that's a great find. Ah, I can see where uh, Kieran did some chunk culling. <laughs> that doesn't seem natural. Cool though, <laughs> but not natural. Okay, this is a uh, dangerous flying right now. Uh, new chunks are ahead. <laughs> 
just stop on top of this hill for a sec, let everything kind of load. Oh, God. This, look at the size of this dark forest. It's massive. Oh. I was just tapped out to read a message and I just noticed that the cherry blossom go right in front of me. And look, there's a, <laughs> a ruined village in there too. But here we are. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, hey! I've now been to every biome. Hey, well, here we are in the cherry blossom. Pretty sparse one, but it is such a pretty biome. I love these leaves. I'm not sold on the grass texture, but that won't be an issue for me because I'm going to be making my own cherry blossom biome. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's quickly cut down one of these trees and have a look at the wood and get a sapling and such. And the thing that I'm more excited about than even the cherry trees is, look at these, cherry blossom on the floor. And, oh, you don't even, I thought you need a, oh, you don't even need a shears to get them. Oh, this is great. Look at these. They're beautiful. And you can place them down in sets of four. And you can, like, rotate them too, which is, like, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I, I'm just so excited for these. And I, I want them to make it so all flowers work like this, where you can place more than one in a block. Like, it's so, it's so good. You can even write some secret messages using these uh, cherry blossoms, such as CC. And seems to have made some bee friends. I didn't realize that these actually uh, were actually counted as flowers, so bees can pollinate with them and you can lead them around with them, which is awesome. So that's a new tool in the arsenal. Alright, so we've got some uh, different planks to work with. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. I always wanted them to add pink leaves to the game, and I thought Chaylos would be perfect for that. And I wanted them to add pink planks, but I never thought they'd do them together, but like it makes makes a lot of sense too. I know that cherry blossom trees in real life don't actually make pink wood, but these are lovely. I love the purple, like the purpley kind of colour of the log, the uh the pink of the trap ones, and then trap ones, what? Of the strip ones, but then trap doors. Uh if I quickly just place down a trapdoor. Look at that. Make some nice windows with that. That's beautiful. Uh, and then you got the door, which I'm assuming will just be like a. Oh, that's nice. Very, uh, very cottage core. <laughs> what else we got? King sign. You get six of them, that's not bad, because they are kind of expensive. But look at this. Oh, hanging signs are, like, so good. I'm so excited for these. You know, like, you have to make these weird, funky hanging signs. And you can now type things. So CC was here. You get less space than with uh, regular signs, but that's fine. This would be good perfect for, like, stores and stuff. And I can edit it, so if I want to have, like, exclamation mark at the end, perfect. And... They're double sided. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. And I think you could do the same with regular signs too. I just do like this. So let's do CC on this side. And then I wonder if I can like. Yeah, there we go. And then if I do was here. So you can have like almost like a secret message hidden behind the sign. So you're like, someone would find this sign saying CC. And you go around the other side and it says, was here. <laughs> I like that. And I think you can individually dye each side too. Do these make dye? They do, pink. That kind of doesn't work too well. But like one side's black, one side's pink. And then I can also glow ink them as well. So that is so cool. And finally you got the cherry blossom boat. Oh, I'm so excited to work with these. I've got some uh, ideas for uh, some houses using cherry blossom uh, wood. It is a little bit of a weird wood to use. Like, it looks lovely on its own, but I wouldn't say loads of blocks mesh with it too amazingly well. But that's the nature of pink, really. Pink's kind of a hard colour to work with. But it is lovely looking. So I'm going to collect a bit more wood, and then I'm going to probably head back... I see a ruin. Oh, I see a temple. Yes, that's awesome. So they've added in a... You can get a 
what they call the armor template from these places. And you get it from killing the Elder Guardian. Now the, I think it's like a 30% chance to drop. And there's three of them, so that should give me about a 90% chance of getting one if that's how mass works. Uh, doesn't seem like I got one that time. That's fine. Let's head... Okay. What breathing potion first, though? Oop, there's one there. Whoa, I dolphin. <laughs> the dolphin on the side of the wall. Oh my god, it's sack! This is hard to control. Whoa! Oh god. Go on, apple, go on, apple, go on, apple. Yeah! Good dolphin, you're not helping! I don't think I got one there. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, I did! I got one! Hide armor trim. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna go kill the other one, just hopefully get another. Uh, Kieran went through like three or four ocean monuments to find a, uh, oh, there he is, to find one, and uh, I got one on my second try, actually maybe my first try, I might not even notice it on the, on the first one, there we go, uh, I've got mining fatigue still, so I have to find my way out of this place, but there should be a sponge room somewhere in here too, so I may as well get that while I'm here, if I can find it that is. There we go, minor fatigues went off. Let's get the uh, sponges. Lovely. Lovely and spongy. Ow. Ooh, Trident. Where? Where's the Trident boy? There he is. Give me the Trident. I want a Trident. I have one already, but I was gifted it. I've never gotten one from an actual drowned, and I still haven't. God damn it! <laughs> Ugh. Ooh, but I do see some suspicious gravel. Let's see if I can do some archaeology under duress. Oh god. Oh no, I messed it up. Okay, no, this isn't working. I need to uh, clear these guys out. I don't want it. <laughs> Oh, I think I got a shirt. Yeah. I'll take what that is in a second, because I got another. That's a hell of a okay. Plenty. That'd be awesome to put on a pot back at my base. I think there's like three villages like so close to each other. <laughs> hmm. I get the feeling that the villagers didn't make this. Question is who did? It's a flower farm. I'm guessing. How does it work? Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why it's not making a sound, but oh my god. Uh, how do I turn it off? Oh god, what have I done? How do I turn it off? Um, uh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> why is my game not making a sound? I, oh, everything's going wrong. My cat's just sat on my Mac mouse. Uh, Well, that's cool. Uh, I don't really need the flowers, but I, uh, sorry for, uh, whatever I did. <laughs> Thank cat. Jelly. Hello, Jelly. Oh, it's another trident, boy. Give me your trident. Ow. Give me your trident. Go. Nah! I'll get one yet. I see some suspicious gravel. Damn hope! I don't want it. Yeah, at least you got one shard. Or shard, sorry. I don't know why they're called shards. Like, I don't know why... Who, who in real life... Because that's what they're called in real life. Like, who in real life said, Okay, this shard... This this shard of a pot... No, 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 no that's a shard, mate. I... <laughs> what does it mean? Why? 
But anyway, let's carry on. I'll find a war motion if it kills me. <laughs> Suit me. My cat wants to be a part of this video as best she can. Ah. Almost just flew directly into a tree. Yes, I love you too. Sue me! <laughs> Jesus! She has no control over her tail. It is impressive how much damage she can cause by just turning around. In a jungle now, what the hell? When did that happen? <laughs> That's cool. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. war motion. Yes, 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 yes. And there's a ruin. Oh, beautiful. Okay. I believe these are the ruins I'm looking for. There's some suspicious sand right here. Okay. So I need two sniffer eggs. A whole two. Hmm. I see one there. That's why I should use the wheat as the brush. It's not going to work. God damn hose! No, I'm not having it. I see some more wool motion over here, though. Actually, all of this is wool motion, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's as long as the water is this color, it should be fine. If I do find a ruin, that is. Okay, that I haven't found any more ruins in the ocean, which is a shame. But I have found this, which is wonderful, because there should be down below. Uh, here, yes. They have like a new little section on the side which will have suspicious sand in. So, uh, I don't know how extensive this is, but we'll find out. Ooh, shard straight away, or shard straight away. Uh, miner. Lovely. Another one. Jeez. What's this one? That is also a miner. Wow, another one. Is there like guaranteed in here? That is prize. Another one. Another miner. Yeah, it must be guaranteed in here. Otherwise, my luck is insane. Because that is a skull. The stuff in the desert temple is a lot more valuable. Terracotta down here. But that was definitely a successful one. Got five pottery shards, uh, or pottery shards, and a diamond. Good stuff. I really would like to get some sniffer eggs. Luckily, Kieran does have some, so if push comes to serve, I can go steal. Uh, I mean, borrow, I mean, uh, buy or uh, uh, steal uh, some sniffers off of him. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, there's one here. I don't, this is like slightly out of the war motion, actually in the desert, but we'll see if that is fine. Oops. I'm hoping that didn't ruin it. Is that a goddamn hoe? Mm. Eight hoes. Well, uh, that was a bunch of nothing. That's a shame. Oh, well, time to keep on hunting. Look, it's like... It's like the ocean curves around the dam. <laughs> yes. Be quiet. I am here at the residence of... Kieran, because I spent hours and hours and hours looking for a sniffer egg, and I couldn't find a single one. So I have come to Kieran's residence of Fort Bricks to uh, to procure an egg. I need to I need to keep this a secret, so that's why I'm recording it. Let's go look for some sniffers. Just around this corner should be Kieran's. Uh, farming cave, and there he is, there is that sniffy boy, I believe this is going to be an alley based system, but I don't think he's got the alleys actually in yet, so I just have to sort of sit around them and wait until they, uh, until they eventually do some sniffing. This is less exciting than I expected it to be. <laughs> They require, uh, oh, what you found. Torch flat seed, okay, I need one more of those, and I can get one egg. Oh god, it's gonna take forever, isn't it? 
bought some friends for you guys. So if I just do this, now whenever a uh, sniffer drops or picks up a, a seed, they will automatically pick it up and give it to me. So that way I can just stay in here and hide incognito. I'll hide in with the bamboo. There we go, perfect. I've attained four torch flower seeds. So I can just quickly uh, do that, and they will breed. I don't know if they place the egg, or if they, uh, like, drop it as an item. Oh, there we go. Smells interesting, I'm playing a sniffer egg. Look at that. That's so cool. So now I just need to wait for them to go off cooldown so I can, uh, you know, breed them again. And I can then take them back to my base. So, it is now the next day, and I have a cool new tool to use. Uh, it's another camera mod, because I'm obsessed with camera mods. And this one is pretty unique, because look, it follows me around. Isn't that awesome? So I have like a little like handheld cameraman watching me. Like, that's, it's so cool. It would be awesome to have this on like a secondary account. And, like, have it so I could, like, still work, but then it would, like, sort of track me. It's, like, it's tracking onto my head, I believe. So my head's always at the center of the screen, which I think is really cool. But, uh, no, this is awesome. And also I can do this. Whee! So I can have, like, these cool drone shots, like, fion. But I can do like really far out shots. Like, look at this. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, this is this is the area I'm gonna be working in. Uh, and it is a flower forest that I believe has every type of flower available. So I every flower except from the blue orchid, unfortunately. But that's only available on swamps. But yeah, so this will be my new uh my new area. But I'm going to be transforming this area from a flower forest into a cherry blossom area, just because I think that would be neat. And how do I get out of this uh, camera? And we're back to the ground. So let's uh, do some planning for this area. So I am being naughty and doing my ultimate sin of starting a new project when I haven't finished any of my other projects. I have so many ongoing projects. It's honestly a problem. Uh, like, I've got Stockholm, I've got Litterfall, I've got Spawn, I've got The Veil, I've got everything. So let's have a new one. And but this one shouldn't be too big of a deal, since it is going to be just like a flower farm. That, that's that's all this area is, it's a flower farm. Because I want to get all the dyes uh, easily and automated. And I can't get every flower here, as I said before. But I've got Lady of the Valleys, like this area here. See how there's loads of them? I actually did some bone mealing to test, and this little patch of ground here makes exclusively Lily of the Valleys, so the rarest flower isn't going to be a problem. So that is awesome. The blocks I'm planning to use are mainly in these two shulker boxes. So we've got all the cherry stuff, obviously. Uh, and also got... Did I bring saplings? Yeah, I did bring saplings. And also I've got crimson wood, uh, white concrete powder, calcite, Birch and I have forgotten the diorite. Oh, I didn't. I just realized I didn't actually show you my spoils that I got from when I was uh, exploring. They didn't sh end up showing everything. Uh, but if I just quickly. This is the bundle of all of the archaeology stuff I got. So, in total, I got a tide armor trim. I got two coastal armor trims. I got one blade pottery shirt, one skull shirt, one prize shirt, three minor shirts, one mourner shirt. One Explorer Shirt, and one Plenty Shirt. I'm not going to do anything with these yet, just because they are kind of valuable, and I don't really have any plans for them. But these are going to be really cool, because just with diamonds alone, I can, like, trim my armor. So I will be doing that at some point. I think that would be super cool. But for now, I'm going to keep them in my Archaeology Bundle. Okay, let's start with just the basic layout. Generally, like, going with 5 by... Five by, uh, probably do, yeah, five by seven, just for the, the basic house shape. 
and then I'll just have the walls go up by like three. The outer rim or the outer trim is going to be crimson stem, and then the in the like the rest of the roof will be using the cherry wood. So that's the basic color scheme I'm going to be going with, and I think a lot of these uh, houses are going to be basic like cubes and squares, but will have like lots of detail around them to make them feel a bit more I don't know lived in so for example I think I want to do a uh I need more ender pills I could go through them like mad do like a little a frame or like a little bit there make these uh do that and this the diorite is mainly going to be used for walls as like detail. I think I want to make this little bit here maybe a bit smaller and have it so yeah so if I quickly just scale that down. The crimson looks pretty good. I want to use some cherry in this build but I'm really liking the crimson. I bring it forward one it looks basically the same but it will give me a bit more floor space in here to work with so I'm gonna do that instead. The roof, I'm not in love with. I'm going to do some tweaking. What about something like that? And maybe if I get like some glass in there. While the sand smelts up, let's do a little bit of texturing using the concrete powder. Whoa, God. Efficiency is mental with calcite. <laughs> Just to sort of add, like, just a little bit of texture variation to it, because calcite can be a bit muddy or dirty if you do it on too large of a scale. How's my sound doing? Four. God, a single furnace is so slow. So, yeah, and then I think I'll have. I'm fine with having the houses be a bit more crimsony if it. because there's going to be cherry blossom trees surrounding it. If I did this. You'd have to have a floor here. Give me much headspace. Let's do it as half slabs. Though I could also bring the floor down. I was thinking about doing uh, the like cross hatched look like this. This is my favorite flooring design. <laughs> I use it for everything. And then strip it. It's weird how putting, but putting the floor down by a single block just makes a building feel so much bigger. Uh, game, why are you just... Uh, uh, oh god. Flower. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a feature of my camera mod. <laughs> yes. I can. I, it, it comes with a zoom, which I don't really use, but you can also do like this weird slow zoom that just like slowly just... Hello. I think maybe just maybe do the top window but not the bottom window and have it like the floor is here. Do I want stairs? No, I want a ladder. It's like a little balcony and then down here gives me a bit of room to work with. I think my only complaint is the lack of a window. Like it feels like there should be one here so maybe if I bring one in then it's just gonna have like that. I guess that's fine really isn't it? Like let's put like some is that big deal? Like, that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. I think this is coming along nicely. I've got some bee friends now. Hello. So I think this is kind of where I'm going to leave this now. I um got lots of stuff to do, like a lot, too much, so much to do. But it is starting to look oh oh, it's starting to look quite pretty. I'm a big fan of the color scheme. I don't usually get to work in pink, so it's nice to do something different. So next episode, I think I'm going to do some farming. I'm going to do some flowers. I, I want as many flowers as possible and dyes, because I have many uses for dyes in the future. And something I found out you can do in this update that I completely forgot you could do is you can re-dye wool. I, I, I completely forgot they added that, so that was very useful. I've made the bed in there pink now, so that's nice. But yeah, next episode we'll get the sniffers in, we'll have to bring some alleys over, which will not be fun. 
and need to uh, make some flower farms. So I'm just going to spin into place and I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Bye! I've run out of mousepad. <laughs>